can help you with the tax laws. We have the reports drop down. You can also find these reports in the report center, but it's probably easier to see them here. And then you've got your uh, tax uh, accumulating per location. So for us, we set up the default 5% to, to Alabama and Colorado here, just randomly picking those two. And then you have the statuses of all paid, due, overdue, or open. And the amount and the status is uh, open here. And then you have the tax year, the current year that we are on, and then the details on down below. Now, if you're using the sales tax, so that's, that's the sales tax center. If I open this up, we then went into our sales tab and we went into our products and services. And in our case, we're saying that all of the actual inventory items are subject to sales tax, as you can see here. And we're saying that the service items are not subject to sales tax. Therefore, when I populate an invoice or a sales receipt that has an inventory item, it will charge the sales tax based on location unless we say the customer is for some reason exempt from the sales tax and anything that's a, that's this type of item like a service item will not be subject to the sales tax and the last step was to go into the customers which you don't normally need to do unless a customer is special for some reason and would be exempt from sales tax or possibly have a different sales tax location then would be the default sales tax setting typically driven by the sales tax setup and by the items all right so that's been uh set up now if i go into say the balance sheet and i was to drill down on one of these accounts going into it we can see that their increase in the liability is increasing with invoices and sales receipts if I go into those forms, these are the these are the sales forms that we have. We can see the detail of the of the calculation. So you'll recall that when we enter an invoice, it increases the accounts payable by the total amount, and then the the revenue goes up by this amount, the amount that we charged, and the sales tax increases uh, the payable account by whatever the sales tax is. In this case, one hundred seventy two fifty. Remember that you could imagine a system, you might be thinking, why doesn't, why, if we're going to collect 3622.50, I should record that as revenue and then record an, a business expense of sales tax. And that system would still result in the same net income. And it's a question that will inevitably come up if you're a bookkeeper, because the client is going to say, hey, look, why don't I have something on my tax return if you're in the United States? for sales tax expense because I'm spending all this money on sales tax. And the, the answer to that question is if you're using this system, that's because we didn't record the revenue on, on the income statement either. Neither the revenue or the expense is on the income statement. We put it into a payable because the concept is that the government is saying, we're not actually taxing you business owner, we're taxing the client. We're just using you as the collection agency. Again, you can argue whether or not that is true from an economic standpoint, given the fact that we as the business have to basically increase our sales price. It looks to me kind of like we have, we have a, a sales going up and an, a business expense of the sales tax for basically protection money that we're paying to the government so that we can pay for the cops so they can actually stop the people that keep looting our stores and stuff. But but no, that's not how it works. So really we're charging the customer and therefore apparently the cops don't have to stop people from looting the stores or something or whatever. But so then let's close this, let's close this out and let's go back to our report here. So, so then if you collect the sales tax uh, from just a logistic standpoint now, now we have, we have this money that, that we collected from the customer and of course we have to pay it to the government. And the question is, well, how often do I have to pay it to the government, which will hopefully be set up within the widget, depending on the location, as you set up your, your tax information. But usually what will happen is if you get a lot of sales, the state or locale will want their money sooner. So you might have to pay it more regularly. Uh, and if, if, however, you have, don't have many sales, 
then possibly the, the state's going to go, okay, we don't really care because you're not making much money anyway, so maybe you just pay it once a year. Uh, for us, we said we're going to pay it monthly for the practice problem. So what does that mean? That means that we're collecting money for January. So we're going to imagine January we collected our, our, uh, our sales tax, and then I'm in the payroll tax. Uh, the sales tax is up here. We, we collected the sales tax, and then uh, in February... We also collected sales tax, but we're going to pay off just the January sales tax and, and then the February sales tax will be paid off in March. So there's going to be a month lag of the sales tax. We collect the sales tax from customers using the sales forms, the, the, the invoice and sales receipts, and then we pay off the liability that has been accumulating in the following month for the prior month as the current month keeps accumulating with the current month sales documents, invoices, and sales receipts. All right, so let's go to the first tab and back into our, our tax over here. Now, normally you would do that with like a widget in your sales tax and QuickBooks would make basically another type of form uh, that, that would be another kind of expense, uh, a check form decreasing the checking account but be specific to the sales tax. But because we're using a practice problem here, we can't really do that because, because you have to run in real time for QuickBooks to basically calculate the tax that is owed. So we're just gonna do a manual check or uh, yeah, a manual check here or an expense form. But in practice, of course, you'd, you'd wanna use the little widget as the time passes when your tax is due. You can run the reports down here. We have a tax liability report. Uh, tax customer report, non-taxable transaction review. So clearly when you're looking at the liability, you want to possibly run the liability.